We're a long citizen. Oh, sorry, Captain. Flight Commander June, pleased to meet you. Afraid there's bad news from open space. The Imperial Armada is attacking Republic assets in secret, goading us into violating the Treaty of Coruscant. Just like those imps to avoid an open fight. They're scum, all right. Scum we can beat. Fleet Admiral Newman has authorized the formation of the Coruscant Aegis, an elite attack squadron meant to break the Imperial offensive swiftly and quietly. If you're interested, I'd say you're more than qualified to join the squadron. I want to be called Cracker Jack. Yeah, that sounded better in my head. How about Ace? Ace it is. Every member of the Corson Aegis will strike independently across the galaxy. I'll upload your mission data to your ship. Silence the Imperial threat and guard the Republic well. Ah, Taris. Did you know you've just landed on the biggest graveyard in the galaxy? There's not much to enjoy here, besides skeletons, ruins, and man-eating creatures. Wanna fly someplace else? No point in that, is there? We'd only have to come back. Taris was the Coruscant of the Outer Rim, until some lunatic leveled it centuries ago. Now it's a toxic swamp. We're here for an astrogation chart that was in a vault when Taris fell. That vault's somewhere in these ruins. How do you know the vault still exists? It was built to withstand anything short of a supernova. Our lost vault was designed to be recovered after a major catastrophe. All we need are the right sensors to locate it. The catch is, the only person I know with access to those sensors is someone who hates me. Someone hates you? But you're so... likable. Try not to slip on your own sarcasm. I wouldn't want you to break anything. Yet. I made our contact an irresistible offer. One of the deal's terms is that she doesn't have to see me. I need you to get that vault's location, Captain. Impress the stars out of her. I'll do whatever it takes. This woman talks tough, but underneath, she's a softy. Use that to your advantage. I should also warn you. Skavik knows about the vault. We can't let him catch up. All I want to do is kill that guy. Don't get hung up on your vendetta. Living well really is the best revenge. The astrogation chart in that vault is essential to finding Nocdrain's riches, Captain. Your contact name is Beryl Thorne. When Beryl gives you the vault's location, come back and see me. Oh, and try not to let anything eat you. I'm Agent Saganti with the Republic Customs Office. What brings you to my planet, Captain? Last time I checked, Terrace was Republic territory. When you have as many responsibilities as I do, you develop a sense of ownership about a planet. The Republic Customs Office monitors all starship traffic and ensures no illegal goods are transported on or off this planet. There's a lot of contraband making its way around Taurus. If you see anything suspicious, I suggest you report it immediately. I sincerely have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Honest. That's right. You have solid citizen written all over you. I take a special interest in every new arrival to my planet, Captain. Keep your nose clean and we won't have any trouble. Clear? You give this speech to everyone? Just the ones I think need to hear it. Enjoy your visit to Taurus. Argo, you're leaking oil again. You want to set this whole warehouse on fire? The Maker said it is better to burn out than rust away. Perhaps I'm testing that wisdom, mistress. I'm looking for Beryl Thorn. That's me? Argo's what passes for my second in command. I recognize you from Risha's Holo. Let's get one thing straight. The only reason I agreed to help is because my contract supplying the Terrace Reclamation Project is at risk. Looked like easy credits. Turns out Terrace is anything but easy. There are lots of interesting ways to die. Why don't you just leave? Can't afford to. Not yet. If I don't finish my contract, I don't get paid. Tired all my partner died on a supply run. Put me in a real bind. I'll find that vault, but I have to finish my contract to do it. You work for me, and I'll work for you. Deal? What's the upside for me? A real mercenary, huh? I stashed some credits for a rainy day. You'll get them when the job's done. I only have two deliveries left. Soon as you handle them both, we'll find your vault. The first job's for a Republic scientist named Vernon. He's got a research camp in Rackgold territory. Uh, you should take that comedy act on tour. I wish I was joking. Don't know how anyone lives with those man-eaters all around. I'll start working on your job while you handle mine. Isn't cooperation grand?
Hello again, Captain. I didn't know you and Thorne were acquainted. Agent Saganti, what a lovely surprise. It's only been a day since your last inquis- I mean, inspection. Don't you Republic Customs boys have better things to do than turn my warehouse upside down again? I can inspect this warehouse whenever I want. It's the law. Take Dr. Vernon's delivery, Captain. There's no reason for you to stick around. Why is Republic Customs so interested in you? Just between you and me, Saganti's a very lonely man. Poke around the warehouse all you want, Agent. You won't find anything out of order. Ah. <sighs> what did I just step in, Thorn? My apologies, sir. I believe that is my hydraulic fluid. You're a daily. I regret that your husband was killed yesterday by rat ghouls. Please accept my condolences. Dr. Soylan was an excellent scientist. I've never composed a death notice before. How did that sound? The Dira Dolly part was pretty good. I thought a personal touch was warranted under the circumstances. Ah, I recognize the symbols on that container. My bio alarms have finally arrived. Good, good. If only this had arrived in time to save my associates. Not your fault, certainly. We knew the risk of studying Rakuls. You people are a whole new level of hopeless. The pursuit of knowledge is never without risk. And the greater the risk, the greater the enlightenment. My colleagues and I were studying the Rakuls' behavior, hoping to find a means of containing them. We can't afford to let the Rakuls impede our progress. The Republic's rebuilding efforts on Terrace are paramount to future prosperity. You're pretty fearless for a scientist. Fear obstructs understanding. Besides, my prospects for survival have just improved. I've isolated an identifying element in the Rakul's physiology, making it possible to detect and track their movements. The bio-alarms you brought will reveal how the creatures hunt. However, installing them will be a challenge with all my assistants dead. Don't look at me. I'm done here. But these bio-alarms are useless until they're installed. Big Brain here wouldn't last ten meters outside this camp. Besides, we can always use credits. I have many credits to spare. And I do desperately need your help. This situation is like navigating an asteroid field. You're a hero to science, my friend. Place a bio-alarm at each survey station we've established, and I'll see you're amply rewarded. After this, you're on your own. I'm sorry you feel that way, but I accept your conditions. Come back when you're done, and we'll celebrate your success. Normally, I'd ask for your next of kin's hollow frequency, but I'd rather maintain some optimism. Good luck. Howdy. Splendid work. I'm already receiving data transmissions from the bio-alarms. You've done the Republic's rebuilding effort a tremendous favor. All I need now is my fee. Oh, come now. Take a moment and give yourself a pat on the back before you dash off with your money. What you've done most definitely calls for generous compensation. Good show. Best of luck to you. Soon, we'll know how to contain the rat ghouls. From there, Eradication of these beasts will quickly follow. Accept these credits with my extreme gratitude. I'll begin collating my data. Thank you again for everything. Hey, Captain. How are things out there? That crazy Republic scientist got his gear. Glad to hear it. That's one down, one to go. I finally located the other supplies you need to deliver. They were lost when Tyrodal got killed by the Rakuls. 
A Republic patrol found the supplies with Tyrodal's remains, dropped everything off at an outpost near the lake. Lazy Republic troopers. They couldn't have made the delivery. I suspect they're a little busy hunting down the pirates and scavengers attacking the supply routes. All you have to do is swing by the outpost, grab the supplies, and take them to an engineer named Ovold. Ovold will give you some planetary core samples to bring back to me. Got it? You better have that vault's location when I get back. I'm working on it. Don't you worry. Grab the supplies from the outpost, get them to Ovold, and return to me with his core samples. Good luck. Naya Nugan, a genim Naya, lak umnan mege. Nuli lak apa jam kamgram, am kanem nang nemua inuk. I'm not afraid of anybody. Yang perlu amka, kalima Naya kira. Bomo gala apa yang, nilama imi amka amga. Kala jiwa nimok. Ebemgam nyama naya aigam. Explain to me how that would be useful. Beraka karam kara, eninyamak ora mag yang megik. Nibaka klamka, agakyam, glak nimu amya galak. Naya narankam, kala ama mani mami, libik bak. I'm a little rushed right now. Maybe later? Manub Maraka Naja. Kinamabam. Yak Manala. Memgam Gamgi. Nina Gegwan. Am Nerna Hanak. Kamperem Ganyam Baji Yang. Manikikum Bukam. I handled everything just like you wanted. Nakag agib kik benabab. Neya agam berakaki. Mem amgab kugab kramanik. Umka kiga mayamak. Bemka naya nugan. Ejinim naya lak umnan mege. Kuchusa yomata chitoya asubwi mota uipa. Hatoga wata kiko uba kiri wata buki donko. You never take those things off. Chobat i kafstuan dile jihulo kuta. Buka kampak nijit tonka yiliska chanaga. Kabano tase makipuna malituta udmishka. I don't care about your blasted goggles. O bagthra wanawaga mi bunawa dwe dwipe. O yatoka changa goptula do bata wana wanki. Chaskruni do pat kurira do kanki kung. What would scavengers want with core samples? O bagthra wanawaga mi bunawa dwe dwipe. Pampa wula ji ota kakoga huta nupisto. Barrel owes me a hefty bonus for this. Chobat i kafstuan dile ji hulo kuta. Ta uz azulas uval tung mi chakulka di maji. Kabano tase makipuna mali tuta od mishka.
Why'd you kill everybody? Some of those guys were all right. I'm here for the planetary core samples. Hand them over. Planetary core samples. Right. You work for Beryl Thorne, don't you? That's what I used to do. The name's Tyrodol. I was helping Beryl smuggle artifacts off Terrace disguised as core samples. I thought we'd get rich. Turns out Beryl's a soft touch. Instead of selling what we smuggle on the Imperial market, Beryl gives relics to descendants of Tara survivors for a tiny finder's fee. Ridiculous. There's an Imperial market on Terrace? No. But high ups in Imperial space pay big credits for Terrace artifacts. They're status symbols. I let Beryl think rat ghouls killed me and went into business with the scavengers. They had a bright idea to increase profits. Why sell a relic to the Imperials once we can sell it a dozen times? These droids are making copies of the relics. You get yourself killed crossing the Empire. By the time my buyers figure things out, I'll be far, far away from Imperial space. Let's be smart about this. I'll give you a hefty payout and a cargo pod of counterfeit relics if you keep my operation quiet. You go home richer, Beryl gets some relics to give away, and I stay in business. What do you say? I think she deserves better than to be cheated by you. Oh well, I guess we finish this the hard way. Droids, code black! These aren't core samples, Ovald, and you know it. Moja jo chaluka. Kunachi do nikti toki saya tupi nu abiti. The cargo pod is full of terrace relics. Se gota do muti ki hasa da punyo. Lis di woto. Kuto yi kumpa. Gigi no lia makachisa. Doika boda pachi isa jonki. Huh. You're a pretty good liar. I think it's the goggles. Umpa hupa. Chikilia umpasa do biska. Ha wanchi kospa tota ulia. I can count the number of t <coughs> I can count the number of times I've been truly impressed in my life on one hand, Captain. Congratulations. You walking in with those core samples just got added to the list. If I'm gonna be smuggling relics, I expect to be well paid. Smuggling relics? <laughs> I never do anything like <laughs> Alright, well, even I don't believe that one. How'd you find out what I'm really up to? What happened with the scavengers? Turns out, Tyrodol faked his death by Ragulls and joined the scavengers. He told me everything. I never liked that guy. Where is he now? He's fertilizing this beautiful swamp. Stupid Deveronian. He probably drew first. Sorry I didn't keep things on the up and up, but you're working with Risha. I've got trust issues there. I don't want these relics decorating some fat senator's bedroom. They're going to the descendants of Terra survivors where they belong. You've got a real heart of gold, don't you? There's more to life than profit. If people understood that, the galaxy would be a better place. Hey, look at that. The Republic just updated my contract log as complete. And right on time, my spaceport friend granted me access to the Republic sensor array. Let's find us a vault. Tell me about this mysterious friend of yours. A lonely technician with a boring job. Didn't take much to wrap him around my finger. Mm, sensors are picking up the vault's unique radiation signature. That's good. Aha, there it is! Oh. Your vault is in Zone Zero. That's bad. Give me all the details. Zone Zero is in no man's land. When the Republic first got here, it sent a bunch of surveyors to map the region. One surveyor made it back alive. Said the place is overrun with things worse than rat ghouls. Nobody goes there. If that's where the vault is, that's where I'm going. You'll need serious hardware to crack that vault. Risha's good at getting into places she isn't supposed to. Maybe talk to her. Here's your fee for helping me complete my contract. We're even now. Good luck, Captain.
Hope you got that vault's location. Aeve's dropped on Skavik and some mercenaries over an encrypted comm channel. They're trying to beat us to the vault. Sounds like they're closing in. Tell me where to find Skavik so I can fry him. Don't get your hopes up. He's not on Taris. Just his mercenaries. From what I overheard, Skavik's men aren't having much luck in their search for the vault. Something out there is eating those mercenaries alive. Literally. For once, I'm glad Taris is a death trap. The creatures are slowing the mercenaries down, but not enough. Get to the vault as fast as you can, then open the lock with this Geonosian slicer module. It took me months to trade for this. Don't lose it, understand? Stop bossing me around, got it? Don't be so thin-skinned. I'm just excited is all. Good luck, partner. Hope I see you again soon. Your old partner seems to think you'll turn on me. She's bitter about something that happened a long time ago. Forget about her. If you cross me, I'll shove you out the airlock. You've made that very clear. Don't worry, I enjoy being alive. I'll be waiting, Captain. Remember me? Agent Saganti with the Republic Customs Office. I have some questions about Beryl Thorne. Let me get back to you. Now, this won't take long, and it's not a request. I suspect Thorne is smuggling relics, and I think I know how she's doing it. What I lack is proof. I need someone to step forward and testify so I can arrest her. I'm looking for an honest citizen, Captain. If I see one, I'll let you know. That's funny. Really. I'm authorized to pay a generous sum for any lead resulting in an arrest. Think about what's best for you. Are you absolutely sure you don't know anything about Beryl Thorne's criminal activities? Beryl just looks dishonest, that's all. I have the same problem. Go on. Have a good laugh. While you still can. Nobody escapes justice forever, Captain. Nobody. It's been grand, really. Let's go, Min. Beryl needs to clear out of here. That agent won't give up. I don't want Beryl getting caught. Me neither. She's one of the good guys. We should drop by her place on our way to Zone Zero. It's the least we can do. Didn't expect to see you again. What's the occasion, Captain? Republic Customs is on to you. I've kept them off your back. For now. You have the vault's coordinates. You didn't have to come warn me, but you did. Where I come from, the best friends are the ones who lie for you. Guess you're a better friend than I thought. I've always been on your side, Beryl. Never figured I could count on anybody traveling with Risha. I want you to have this. Save me more times than I can count. I hope it does the same for you. I'm glad we're parting as friends. Risha doesn't deserve a partner like you. Watch your back, alright? I'll get off Terrace while the getting's good. I know Argo's ready. You have no idea, Mistress Barrow. Thanks for everything, Captain. What the? Who the? How'd you? Not big on completing sentences, are you? You're just... I can't believe... You're not supposed to be here. We've been through ten kinds of pain getting to this vault. And not to watch you open it first. Skavik, you there? Do you want to see this, boss? We're at the vault, but we're not alone. <laughs> Too perfect. I love it when everything comes together like this. How's life treating you, Captain? You enjoying my ship and all my stuff? What about that two-faced Risha? We're doing great, thanks. Yeah, I bet you girls stay up late, listening to music, talking about who you'll marry when you grow up. Still owe you for that mess on Coruscant. You have any idea the grief I'm taking? I could kill everybody who cracks a joke, but uh, that's a lot of work. So why don't you just die already? Stop taking yourself so seriously. A man's reputation is everything. If I don't take myself seriously, who will? Roxer, I want you and the boys to spare no effort killing my friend, and make it as painful as possible. You heard the boss. Fry this fool! There's more red from.
You got the astrogation chart, didn't you? I can tell by the look on your face. Did you ever doubt me? If I did, you've just made me a believer for life. That astrogation chart belonged to an exchange gangster named Davik Kang. Davik personally mapped dozens of hyperlanes between the core and outer rim systems. He found shortcuts and hideouts all over the galaxy. I've never heard of this Davik Kang. He was the last great leader of the Exchange Crime Syndicate, and the unofficial ruler of Taris. Have you studied much galactic history, Captain? Interesting patterns emerge if you pay attention. Davit Kang's criminal empire ended when this planet was destroyed. Nokdrayan's empire was born when he destroyed a planet. What a bloodthirsty creep. That's one way to look at it, assuming you're ignorant of the actual facts. Once upon a time, there was a pirate haven on the Outer Rim called Mandelia. Thousands of criminals lived there. One bright morning, Nokdrayan's freighter dropped out of hyperspace over Mandelia. He demanded the pirates surrender to him or die. Now that's what I call a negotiation. The pirates figured Nok was delusional and refused to surrender. Big mistake. When the pirates sent their reply, Nok launched a single rocket at their settlement. The warhead was tipped with an Imperial nerve toxin. The entire settlement died in less than a minute. Where did Nok get an Imperial warhead? He stole it, of course. He'd been looking for a way to take down Mandelia in one shot, and that was the perfect solution. That day at Mandelia, Nock Drain went from being a low-rent smuggler to one of the richest criminals in the galaxy. Anyway, that's how the legend goes. I should probably let you get back to work. You were starting to bore me. Not a history buff? Too bad. At any rate, I'm ready to leave Taris. I'm sure we can find someplace more interesting to be. Got a bad case of wanderlust, Risha. Hey. It's one of my best qualities. So, how'd you end up out here, Captain? Was there ever a time you wanted something more... normal? A husband? Kids? Someone to take care of you? Are you happy here? Or would you rather be back raising Rontos? I've just been thinking about a guy I met in the Brigade. Mercenary. He'd been fighting for the Republic for 20 years. I was 16, fresh off the ship. This guy gave me my first blaster. I thought you country boys grow up shooting. I mean, sure, I'd handled a hunting rifle, but never anything aimed at people. This guy told me, gun's just a tool. You use it to destroy, or you use it to protect against those who would destroy you. And you took it to heart. Made me think different about guns. You can't protect the people you love if you're afraid to get your hands dirty. I brought Torchy home and my parents made me lock her up, told me not to wish away peace. I didn't have her when the Separatists came. 